All right, big nights for Campbell German. Jada Gay, Martinsdale St. Mary's moves on to a regional final with a win over Griswold. Ladies, you guys are on the brink of a trip to state. Just your thoughts? Uh, I think as a team, we prepared all year for this. And as of right now, we don't know who we're going to play, but whoever it is, we're, we want it. We want to go to state. We've worked all year for it. Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> I think everyone is. Absolutely. A win like this against a really, gr a really good Griswold team will we'll do that for you. Uh, Jada, you started things off. You had the homer in the first inning or second inning, whatever it was. It was really early. Take us through it. What did you see? Um, I saw that it was a zero to zero game, and we knew that they were a good hitting team. They were twenty one and uh, twenty five and one. Uh, with one out, I just knew I had to hit the ball, and luckily it went over. And I don't know. It felt great. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a no doubter landing in the trees over there in center. Uh, when it left the bat, it sounded good to me. Did it? Did it feel good to you? Um, yeah, <laughs> I will say it did. I don't know. I didn't realize it was a home run. Honestly, I just felt it hit the sweet spot on my bat, and then I saw it over the fence, and I was like, I'll take that any day. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, it's a great way to start the game. Uh, you had some other strong showings offensively as well. You had the next RBI. What were you seeing at the plate tonight that clicked? Um. She was just a good speed pitcher. Uh, she threw a lot of inside. I like inside. I guess we could say that. Um, repetitions, I would say. Good level, good speed. I was just in there and I was ready. I was just ready to hit all night before the game started. <laughs> Campbell, I think it was 11 strikeouts for you tonight. Uh, you were able to work them inside, work them outside. W what were you seeing? Uh, I don't know. I just knew we had to play a good team so I need to be on my A game. Where do you feel this season you, you have grown the most as a pitcher? Mm, I would say hitting my spots when Brian tells me to. <laughs> what pitches were working tonight? Uh, my change-ups were iffy but I think my fastballs and my inside and outside worked really well for me. You guys are now one win away from a trip to the state tournament, which has been kind of a norm for this program, you know, in the last 15 years, but it's been a couple years. You know you guys are going to face a familiar opponent, even if you don't know who. How do you guys try to get ready for Monday? I think we just got to bring our A game. Yeah. No matter who it is, they're in our conference. We've played them multiple times before. I think we just got to be ready that first inning uh, with our bats and our defense. Yeah. All right, Coach, uh, a fun one. You guys take down a really good Griswold team and move within one game of state. Just how's it feel? Oh, it feels good. You know, this is a good group of kids, hard workers, put the time in, and they come to work every day with a good attitude, and, and you know, it's paying off. What can you say about the growth you guys have made throughout the season? You know, we work on the fundamentals and talk a lot about, you know, the little things make the big difference. So we try to break our, our hitting down and our fielding and do the little things right. It pays off in, in the close games, and, you know, hopefully it's showing up this time of year. You guys led the whole way, but I'm sure you probably never really felt super comfortable, definitely after they got it back down to 5-2. Uh, what was going through your mind down the stretch, definitely in the six when, you know, they had the go-ahead run at the, at the plate? Well, you know, when, when Campbell's pitching well and hitting her spots, it, it, it allows me to be relaxed a little bit, you know, but you never know. You're playing a good team, and, and they're obviously 26-1 and one or whatever for, for a reason. And, um, you know, we just work on hitting our spots and, and um, trying to work in and out and change speeds and keep them off balance. Big night for Jada at the plate. Big night, yep. Uh, she's got a super quick bat. Um, when she's select, even swinging at her pitches, she's she can hit them out any time. So she had a big night. Yep. This is a program that has had a lot of success recently. Uh, you know, maybe not recently, recently, but in the last 15 years. So what does it mean to to be back on the cusp of getting to the ultimate goal, which is Fort Dodge? Well, that's another thing that we talk about a lot. You know, it doesn't matter who you play. If they're any good whatsoever, they're gonna they're gonna want to play us and beat us. You know, that's just the way it is. You know, we we set the standard here and and had a lot of success through the years and these girls you know they embrace that they show up they want to get better and you know they want to play good teams so don't know who you'll face at the time we record this we know it's going to be either east junior or southeast ward so you guys are familiar with them what's the approach for monday night you know we're not going to change anything 
you know, we're gonna we're gonna get together Sunday, talk about a few things, um, go through our, our routine and and get ready for whoever. We'll know by then, obviously, but um, then have a little team dinner after and relax and and get ready for for Monday night. Regardless of who it is, what do you feel is going to be the biggest key for you guys? Uh, putting pressure on on the on the defense. You know, putting the ball in play, executing. You know, we we talk a lot about executing and doing our jobs, and you know, moving. You know, whether we're bunting or hitting behind the runner, moving the runners, and just having quality at bats. And you know, fundamentally, defensively, we're pretty solid. Um, pitching. Um, we're okay there as long as you know we're hitting our spots and stuff and so we're just trying to put pressure on the defense and make them make the play.